Hi everyone, I would like to share with you the process of this painting. I hope you like it. I wanted to create a piece that was inspired by the changing season, but in the end it turned out more melancholic than I had initially planned. I was looking forward to one of those autumns when there is a lot of bright orange and yellows and reds everywhere. But lately it's been more grey than bright, I would say, so I feel like painting it myself. I also haven't been feeling very me lately. The cold weather suddenly hit and I'm still getting used to it. It's not that I'm sick or anything. At least not yet. I can feel something on my throat, but it affects my mood. I'm already missing summer and the heat and long days. I'm not a winter person and this is already very wintry to me. Actually, it's raining outside as I'm recording this. After I had the sketch, I moved from my sketchbook to Procreate on my iPad. And just in case you're curious, the brushes that I'm using are my very old Photoshop brushes that I imported long ago. And these are so old, I don't even want to think about it. I really had them for all the years that I was painting, just basically forever. Then I printed the drawing and traced it onto my pastel paper. I've explained this process so many times that I won't bother you with it again. I may be getting a smaller table easel soon, but in the meantime I'm still using this larger one. I place a wooden board on it and I tape my paper there. I ended up adding more tape to frame it better and make it smaller. I don't mind that there's extra space because I use it to wipe my hands after blending. It's pretty handy to have it that close to the painting. At first I was planning on using only Sennelier oil pastels, but then I realized that soon it would be too cold for me to comfortably paint with Neo pastel. so I thought that I would use them now while I can. I mean, I can do it all the time, but, but I prefer to use them while it's still warmish. So about half of this painting was done with Neo pastel. They always require more pressure to blend smoothly, especially during the winter months. But at the same time, it's so easy to make details with them. I've also just bought a few oil pastels from Holbein and I'm really looking forward to try them. I got them mainly because I want to update my oil pastel guide and I would like to be able to talk about them and to compare them to all the other brands that I have. I've been pretty busy adding subtitles to my videos, both in English and Spanish. The most recent ones already have them, but my goal is to have them all relatively soon. I always get questions about the things that I talk about, like my materials, especially. So maybe with subtitles you'll be able to understand what I'm saying, or trying to say. A 
comment that I often receive is to please share the colors that I've used to paint the skin of a particular portrait, but I'm sorry I cannot do it. It's not because I don't want to, but I really don't pay attention to it. I don't know the names of the individual sticks and I don't actually bother reading them while painting. I just grab what I need. I will make a video with some color recommendations for skin tones, but I still have to think about how I want it to be, so it will probably still take me a while. In this particular painting, I struggled quite a bit with the skin, at least for a while, because I combined, or I think it is because I combined peaches and beige with purples and oranges and also greys and all together it made it look quite dirty. Once I had in place the dark hair around the face, those very dark beads like on the neck and just framing the face, I was able to better judge the colors and correct it but it wasn't super easy. I don't know why, but lately I feel that almost until the very end of a painting, I'm ready to discard it or to just cross the face and then throw it into the bin. Fortunately, I liked it better once I let it sit there for a day or two, or I wouldn't be sharing it now. I think I don't have a lot more to say. I only wanted to share with you this painting and yeah, if you have any suggestions, please leave them below, they are always welcome. And I hope you liked it. You can continue watching the process if you want to. And I will see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.